there are at least two 19th wives in, <laughs> in the book, depending on how you, you count. Um, yeah. Let's look at the, the two. Um, the historical one is... Uh, Analyza Young. Who was the most famous as being the wife who divorced. That's right. Brigham Young. That's right. She, this was, she, it's, it's important to remember she was born into a Mormon family. Uh, her parents were very devout. Uh, she was born in um, 1844. Her parents uh, knew Joseph Smith, the founder of the Mormon Church, personally, then knew Brigham Young. They believed in these men. Her father had five wives. So this is the world that she was raised in. And when she was a young woman, she married Brigham Young, her prophet, the leader of her, um, of her faith, and had five very unhappy years of marriage. And after five years, she left him. And that was this huge story in 1873 across the United States from California to New York. People followed that story. It was on the front page of the papers in San Francisco and New York and everywhere in between. It was called The Rebel of the Harem. And um, people said, I, Mormons at the time couldn't believe anyone would divorce Brigham. Um, the, the truth is, other women had left him before that, but nobody spoke out about it. And that was a big difference. Um, and she really, decided that she was going to make a fuss and she had a lot to say and she was good at it she had a she was good at telling stories she was a very beautiful charismatic woman and she went around and told um, the country about um, polygamy within its borders and a theocracy as she called it and as many others have called it within its borders and said this is going on right here between California and New York and she testified to the United States Congress she spoke to President Grant and she became a force in the anti-polygamy movement. The other 19th wife is, uh, is fic fictional. Is fictional, but based on some interviews that I did, um, she's from a, um, a polygamous community that is set today, or more or less today, in southwestern Utah. Um, and this polygamous community, they are not Mormons. They are, uh, their ancestors broke away from the Mormon church over the issue of polygamy um, generations ago. Uh, it's worth pointing out that the Mormon Church changed its position on polygamy in 1890. And after that, there were people who left the Mormon Church to continue believing in polygamy. And so there are pockets of um, polygamous communities in the American Southwest and, and in Canada, too. As, in BC, as, yeah. yeah. About, about four, right? Right, exactly. And down into Mexico, there's sort of like a band that kind of follows the Rocky Mountains um, of polygamous communities and, and, and households. And um, so this, the second 19th wife in the novel is a woman who is from one of these communities. And uh, at the beginning of the book, um, uh, she is arrested for murdering her husband. She's the 19th wife of a man who's found shot to death at his computer in the basement of their house. And she's arrested. And the book begin, the, that storyline begins with her son, actually. And her son, who's about 20, um, and his name is Jordan, he was kicked out of this community six years before when he was 14. Um, and now he discovers that his mom has been arrested. He, sees, he reads about it on the web, and he goes back into that community to find out what happened between his mom and his dad, to find out the truth about his dad's death, and ultimately to try to help his mom. And so that Jordan leads the reader back into this world that he ha left six years ago and tries to figure out what, what he should and could do to help his mom, the 19th wife, the other 19th wife. So these two stories intertwine. Polygamy is still playing itself out today. There's an act two. It no longer involves the Mormons. It no longer involves the church based in Salt Lake City. Um, but there's an act two of polygamy uh, within our borders, and I, I figured I, I needed to tell that story too. And so I thought, if um, the ninth, the first nineteenth wife, uh, it, if if the historical story is from her perspective, um, and then and so the a plural wife's perspective, I thought for the second story, uh, the narrator would be Jordan, who's the son of this second nineteenth wife. So so that it's about being the son of polygamy. I think that's one of the most complicated aspects of polygamy, whether it was 19th century or today, is growing up in a household where um, your father's, there's so many demands on your father's time, money, affection, 
um, and everything that a father can give to a child is just divided up um, by the dozens, and that's hard. The book is The Nineteenth Wife. I've been speaking with the author David Ebershoff and The Nineteenth Wife, published by Random House. Thank you.